I don't want to say disqualify him or compel him to resign. I don't think this is a surprise, considering the revelations coming from Chicago State, the, 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 the position process in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in Chicago. So, having said that, if the Supreme Court does not see reason why the president should resign, considering all of these revelations, is it safe to say that, like Karuwa said, they have compelled Nigerians to operate in an anarchy situation because we cannot be looking at the president and have all of this around him and say he should continue to lead while you expect them. So if the Supreme Court fails to do the needful, like they have um, asked them, the Supreme Court to do, what are we looking at in your own view? It's, it's a disaster that is looming if the current president, with all this moral burden, with all this moral burden, does not see the need to resign. You see, Nigerians, both the supporters of the president and those on the opposition side, should look beyond the current president that is seated there. We should look at our constitution. We should look at also the morality that it's now playing out, where we must begin to have certain level of standards, certain level of integrity, certain level of you know, um, uh, ad, you know, uh, personalities that should man our institutions, not only at the at the presidential level, but also at the governorship level at the uh, senatorial House of Reps and House of Assembly, you know, in, in all, uh, you know, public offices. And coming from the number one citizen, it's a big embarrassment. If all this that have been put in the public domain are true, then I expect the president to resign as a matter of, uh, you know, morality. Because you can't carry this excess luggage. Not and I expect the citizens to do otherwise. 